Hey everyone, welcome to Princess Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are here with my blind reaction to Toys in the Attic. This is a donation reward for Isabel, so thank you, as always, for donating. And yeah, this is a 2009 movie, and it's animated. That's pretty much all I know about it. Toys in the Attic could mean a lot of things. It could be practically any genre. Um, though I think the most likely is either horror or just something a lot more wholesome. Um, I, I, I have no clue. I don't know what this is going to be. But we did a animated movie, uh, The Willow Bees, for the other uh, movie reaction this week. So I thought, let's just keep it to animated stuff this week. I thought it sounded like a good idea. So... Yeah, I, 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 again, I don't know what to expect from this one. I'm definitely interested. Um, we've had some pretty interesting, thought-provoking ones uh, from you, Isabel, uh, such as The House and everything. So I'm wondering if this is kind of right up that alley. Um, yeah, it, it's about an hour and 20 minutes, so not too long either. I'm just curious. As to what this is going to be like. Uh, so, that being said, we're going to get right into it. Because, like I said, I don't know anything, so I have no further thoughts. Um, we're just going to hope th hope this uh, ends up being pretty good. So, when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black, then fades back in... Everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the movie. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. The fuck did I just watch? Um, listen... I've been taking some drugs the past few days, like, um, ibuprofen and stuff like that. Uh, don't worry, I'm not, like, taking any, like, meth or shit. <laughs> um, but I feel like I'm on LSD or something. I feel like I, I, I've, like, done some shrooms or something. Because it's like, the fuck was that? Um, like I said during the reaction, I, I, I was looking some stuff up briefly and it was like this is like a Czech production but it was also like co-made by like people in studios from other uh, countries as well but originally in Czech and everything um, I don't know if like there's a notable difference between the dialogue and everything between the original Czech and the, the English version but I was, like, so confused on so much. And I don't think that it would have changed that much if I had seen this in the original check. Um, because the way it was, like, laid out and paced and all would still be the same. Um, the only thing that might change is, like, certain specific pieces of dialogue and all. The story was probably mostly the same, too. Um... The story is super simplistic, basic. You have this group of friends who are all toys. One of them, Buttercup, gets kid, uh, well lured into being kidnapped after uh, an unfortunate series of events uh, because of, I guess, the owners of the house that the, the, the attic is in, that they're all in. The owner, the, the, this old woman and her granddaughter, like, real people come in. And Buttercup ends up being left on a, on a desk or something. So in their world, she's, like, left in the mountains and she's lured over to the, the land of evil. Where the head wants her to stay there and, you know just 
I don't know, party with them or something. I don't fucking know. But she doesn't want to. She ends up getting, like, you know, trapped and forced into labor and everything. While her friends go on a mission to try and save her. And in the end, they defeat the head. They save Buttercup. Yeah. There's also a cat who is, I guess, working for the land of the evil, working for the head. But just after a certain point, just kind of disappears and just isn't really a factor anymore. And honestly, this movie was so disjointed and, like... I don't know if this movie is made for children... But I feel like even children's movies deserve a more coherent plot. There's so many questions I'm left with, and it, it's it's definitely because of the film. It didn't explain mostly anything. I also feel like this movie is trying to like say something. It's like trying to have some kind of message to it. But for the life of me, I can't figure out what it is. Um, let me, uh, I should still have this up on my phone. I want to see, uh, what the reception to this was. Apparently it was compared to Toy Story. I mentioned that during the reaction. Um, but it's like on the most bare bones basic level that you could make the comparison. complimented the animation yes i will give it that um the the stop motion is fantastic um stop motion is a just always impressive medium and i think they did a really great job on that uh, i also like how they kind of integrated in some 2d as well as live action uh this one person says for all its charms uh in the Attic, which I guess is another name for it, uh, feels vaguely sinister and may prove too intense for younger kids. I don't think it was that intense. Like, there were maybe a couple scenes, but... A testament to the film's pacing? You mean it's shit pacing? And score. The score is okay. I have no issue with the score. And how deeply odds, I, I don't know what odds means, A-U-D-S, emotionally connect, is that supposed to be like adolescence? No, that doesn't make sense, would it? Anyways, emotionally connect with these occasionally macabre toy characters. I don't, I didn't really emotionally connect with anyone. It's not really, it doesn't give you enough time or effort to emotionally connect with anything. Apparently, as, as always, take it with a grain of salt, but apparently on Rotten Tomatoes as a 70% for some fucking reason. And I, I, I want to make it clear. I'm not just trying to be mean or anything. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get any level of appeal behind this. I don't get any, like, semblance of quality to the plot or the dialogue or anything and again maybe it's better in the original check i don't know maybe things are explained better that in that i can't say but yeah it's just it just wasn't that good to me even even the VAs in it, who I a few of them I know, and I know are very good. Like Forrest Whitaker, great actor. Joan Cusack, fantastic. Carrie Elwes, of course he's great. But even despite that, it's like th this was not them at their best. I don't know if like this was like a first take situation, but. None of them really felt like they were giving it their all. This was this feels like one of those movies where it was literally just a paycheck for them. And I mean, I can't say for sure if that is the case, but that's what it feels like. 
Um, and apparently the screenwriter for the dub was uh, Vivian Schilling, who also voiced Buttercup. Um, I don't know the name of every, for anything else, and I'm not seeing anything here. Um, Laurent was Marcelo Tuber. Uh, who apparently was the doctor in Helsing Ultimate. What the fuck? That's something I didn't expect to see right now. Um, yeah, there's a couple other things, like, I, I know of, but wouldn't, like, really know, you know? But, yeah, apparently, uh... Apparently, Laurent's voice actor is the is the doctor from Helsing Ultimate. The fuck? Um, that is such a random ass uh, thing to find out here. Um. But yeah, it's like this this movie just confused me more than anything. It was uh. It just, again, it seemed very disjointed. Like, it, it wasn't well put together. I, hold on. I have to see what these Ron Tomatoes are. I have to see what that says. Because that just astounds me. That it would have 70%. Because there's so many movies on Rotten Tomatoes that have such a lower score and are just absolutely 100% better. Like Hook. So I have to, I have to see what people are actually saying about this. Here we go. And it has an 80% audience score too. It's like, what? I, I don't understand. Because if, if it's just based on, like, the, anim the, the stop-motion animation stuff, okay, fine, fair enough. Okay, Sherry Linden says the narrative, what narrative, barely a narrative, is mere scaffolding for Barda's richly realized world. I, I don't think the world was that realized. A kind of hand-hewn 3D cinema that's testament to the limitlessness Limitlessness of animation. Uh, Ferran Smith Nem Neme, sorry if I mispronounced anything there, says the movie is passionately retro, but Barda shows his methods can create a world every bit as engrossing as the latest CG. I disagree. I don't think it was that engrossing. Uh, Manola Dargis says, there may be a metaphor afloat here. That's what I was thinking. Something about the folly of those who devour their own. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't, didn't quite get that, but I don't know. In between some glorious imagery was finally a sweet little story. Okay, here's one uh, that's more negative. Frank Switek says will probably appeal mostly to fans of strange animation, like the Quay Brothers' efforts, not to regular family. See, that that I could see. Like, appealing to fans of, like, strange, weird animated projects, like uh, Phil Tippett's Mad God. We reacted to that before. Um, I, I, I kind of said in that that my one of my big issues, if I remember right, was that it didn't really have a story. It was just a series of really strange, messed up events. And that will appeal to some people. But for me, when I'm watching a movie, I, I want there to be some semblance of a story. You know what I mean? So it's like, uh... 
It's weird. Interestingly, there only seems to be like 15 reviews. So there's not even a lot. <laughs> Matt Payas says, memorable? Not really. Trippy? Dude. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Yeah, it, it, it definitely feels very trippy. Um, let me see if I can find some, uh, audience reviews, though. Oh, this says there are no audience reviews. What the hell? Hold on, there were actually two, uh, entries for this. Maybe the other one has some audience reviews. I don't know why there are two aud entries for this, but... The second entry... Uh, lists the English cast specifically and has a 73% audience score. This one doesn't have any audience reviews either. Or no, this has no featured ones. Let's see all audience reviews. Okay, so there's one person here who is saying the animation is cheap and lazy looking. I, I disagree with that. I think the animation's fine. It's not the best stop motion I've seen. It's nothing like on the level of Coraline or whatnot, but it's still really good. Um, this one person is saying beautifully animated and funny as hell. What was funny about it? It's like there was maybe there could maybe be like one or two moments in the entire movie that you could say are funny. It wasn't comedic. It, it it didn't seem like it was even trying to be. Uh this one person says uh some parts slowed down a bit. I think the entire movie was pretty slow. I I, I think it was like very boring. Honestly, during a lot of it, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the reviews there. But yeah, I, I think a lot of this comes down to like with the lack of the story and lack of any cohesion to it. A lot of it comes down to it was just kind of boring. It wasn't that interesting. It wasn't that fun. I wasn't invested in the characters or the, the simplistic as hell story. Just nothing about it really hooked me in. And again, the only re the only thing I can really give it is the animation. E even with as many great actors and VAs as are in this, they were not at their best. And, and it felt like a paycheck for them rather than an actual performance they put forth effort into. You know what I mean? Like you listen to the you listen to Teddy in this and it's like that's that's Forrest Whitaker? It's like if you didn't know, you wouldn't know. Because that doesn't come across like Forrest Whitaker's acting to you. You listen to uh, Madame Curie. It's like you're, you're supposed to think this mouse is Joan Cusack? It's like I wouldn't have known that without having seen the cast. And Sir Handsome? Like, that is... Nothing about that screams Carrie Elwes to me. I'm just... I, I, it sucks because I know all of them are amazing actors. But to just see them put forth so little effort, it just... And I don't even know... I don't know if it was because of the direction or whatnot. Uh, the, vo the vocal direction, the voice direction. But... It just, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm left disappointed by the performances here, too. And, like I said, really the only thing I can really praise is the, is, is the animation, the stop motion. So, yeah, I'm sorry, I just didn't like this one. Even if there are some 
deeper messages and themes in this that I just, I, I couldn't quite understand. Even if I find out what those are, like, through maybe, I don't know, uh, Isabel, a lot of the movies you've requested have been on Steve Reviews. This one might be on there, too. Even if I watch that um, and learn more about, like, what the meaning behind this movie is, it's like that's not really going to help with what my experience watching it was. Because even if there's more depth to the, the themes of it, the actual presentation of the story, of the dialogue, of all of that, is still what got to me. And again, part of that might be due to the dub. The, the translations and whatnot might not have worked as well. I don't know. I can't say on that. But this one just was not for me. I apologize, but not everything's going to be quite to my taste. It, it happens. I would not have known, and I never would have seen this movie otherwise. Um, and I don't regret seeing it. I'm glad to have seen it. I'm glad to have given it a chance. And hell, like I said, I love stop motion animation. I love supporting that because it's just such a cool medium. It's so difficult to do. It takes so long, and it deserves respect. So I'm always willing to give these kinds of movies a chance, even if I don't end up liking them in the end. Uh, but in the meantime, tell me in the comments below, what did you think of this movie? And for now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.